Casca's Angels be able to figure something out here against the move, Supatiz? Yeah, I'm not too sure. And Casca is not going to be stepping into the arena for the first round, which is a bit uh, disappointing. We got Pirate Peekaboo. He's actually going to oh. be playing Outlaw in this game. We saw him play Assassination in the previous series when these guys last met. Um, but now he's going to be switching it up, playing that Outlaw Rogue, going to give them a lot of control. And maybe that's why they don't want to bring in Casca, is Casca's Angels, they know what they're going up against. Who doesn't like a handsome pirate as Peekaboo is going across the map? Looking to plunder Dilly's health bar early on. <laughs> Dilly instantly trinketing and disengaging away. Whiskey the primary target for now. It's Abster just caught into a freezing trap. Whiskey getting interrupted. Looking for a massive spell. Not really going to find anything with that. That's a lot of damage actually falling towards Whiskey. He gets knocked out of the earthen. He's completely exposed. Abster's just spamming out Riptides, but that's going to be a dispersion. This is the first time that we've really seen Whiskey put on the back foot. But now Dilly caught into a stun. Tons of damage. Six seconds, five seconds away. And Milkman just throws the game away. Every cooldown was available other than Dilly's trinket. Yeah, he's choosing his timing of when to open up there. And then immediately once this has happened and Whiskey has stabilized, we're going to see Peekaboo. Yeah, he's gonna start uh, getting that big pistol stun right there and then here that should be the pain suppression honestly but milkman can't really see that coming and then there it is big silence plunder all cooldowns from that pirate the artifact i think as long as Dilly communicates well with Milkman when his trinket is down like that, there is a couple of things they can do. He can use his aspect of the turtle in between that little gap, or Milkman can drop out that pain suppression as well. So uh, there's definitely a couple of options while playing Relentless, uh, but uh, it's it's risky because you also have to sit full blinds then, so it doesn't seem to be a good choice. The move was able to do it in 39 seconds last game. Will they be able to do it again? Casca's Angels living on a prayer, looking for a miracle. Yeah, Casca's Angels, they're going to be looking to get aggressive once again. WizK just charging in, looking for dots on a Dilly right away. You can see Peekaboo's going to be opening up, getting the cheap shots on the side Foxy. That's actually a very nice interrupt, immediately denying that Earthen Shield totem from Absturge. Yeah, we see a bash and a silence on WizK, but no trap to follow it up. WizK is still taking the brunt of this exchange. It's to finally a full freezing trap has been secured. Dilly is locked down in his stun and not really able to capitalize on any damage. And because of that perfectly timed stun from Peekaboo, WizK might be able to get away with holding on to Dispersion. They need to try and force the overlap. Will they have enough damage to do it? Peekaboo just completely peeling the team. Now stunning up Psy Foxy. WizK is able to hold on to Dispersion. Dilly teeing off, though. Psy Foxy getting silenced with a Hex for cross crowd control. The clean setup there from the move, forcing a pain suppression from Milkman. He didn't want to get caught there in a crowd control, unable to support his team. He has switched over to Trinket for that oh-so-deadly blind tap combo. Get Milkman using the pain suppression there. That was nicely done. Dilly now taking a little bit of damage. He actually switches over to Relentless as well. So interesting adaptation coming in from Casca's Angels. Peekaboo and Whiskey both rotting down. Another nice swap going out onto Psy Foxy. Pistol stun on him. Uh, big pressure going out. That's a full blind on Milkman. He trinkets out of that. So nice trade there. Going to not have to sit any of that crowd control. Can keep Psy Foxy aggressive. But now with no... Oh, the kick! Though, could be scary. Full trap on Absurge. Whiskey gets interrupted. But this is Earthen Shield Totem as well. Peekaboo's there. The solid defense also going to be throwing in some stuns to help Whiskey stay alive. Yeah, Whiskey has been able to hold on to his dispersion for quite a long time. Now the momentum is swinging in favor. Dilly has to trade out aspect of the turtle. If a stun had landed even a second before that, he would easily be dead at this point. Milkman now caught into a stun. Whiskey trying to keep up the pressure. Cy Foxy rotting down, trading out that survival instincts to soak some damage. He saps him out of the stun. Nice play from Peekaboo. Clean setup. Dilly locked down. He's going to feign death to remove the dots, trying to thwart the pressure of Whiskey. Now a gouge on the Milkman into a stun. Peekaboo completely controlling Milkman. For Forcing the human racial on a DR stun. Cyfoxy is still dangerously low. They're trying to do whatever they can with this freezing trap. They need to get a dispersion. They're really not finding it just yet. Dilly knocks the entire team away, spreading them far apart. Now Dilly's going to be able to recover. Cyfoxy can easily retreat back to the center of the bridge if he needs to, but they still can't get that dispersion from Whiskey. Yep, they haven't been able to find the pressure just yet, but honestly, Peekaboo and Whiskey have been doing such a good job with crowd control on a Milkman. Milkman caught into the pistol stun, into the silence. Dilly now having to kite away. No aspect of the turtle is going to be available. Can oh. they take him down? Milkman and lands the power with shield to keep him alive. Pennant's going to connect as well, but they had so much pressure, oh. so much momentum. Pistol stun on Dilly once again. Cy Foxy rotting down. Whiskey damage is insane, but he's caught into the full maim and forced into the dispersion. Oh. So nicely done by Casca's Angels, making sure they keep up the offense, even though it's looking so dire. Yeah, they're at least putting up a fight, getting that dispersion out of the way, but both targets are dipping dangerously low as Whiskey looks to claim a double kill. A full psychic scream secured under the healer. Dilly and Cy Foxy both rotting down. Exhilaration available in one second. Power shield buys time for Cy Foxy. 
Cyfoxy, but he's still dipping dangerously low. Milkman retreating away. Cyfoxy just jumping with his priest to try and stay alive. They've done it, though. They've managed to recover, denying the double. Now a trap landed on the Absturge, and there's no dispersion for Whiskey. If they can stunlock him and stunlock the Trinket to prevent the Void Swap, they could take him down here. That's a big ferocious bite. Absturge is going to drop Spiritling Totem instead, making his team be able to push aggressively. But Absturge has finally tapped on mana. Casca's Angels could be pulling off a miracle. Yeah, Wyvern Sting over on a peekaboo. Whiskey trying to find that damage on the Cy Foxy and Dilly once again. Nice trap coming in from Dilly, knocking WizK off the side of the map, making him very exposed in this position. Then Pierre can can be cast out by WizK to keep his team topped off and aggressive. Full blind now on a milk band. Do they have the follow up? Dilly's going to be kiting away, trying to keep himself alive. Has the aspect of the turtle very shortly, but Cy Foxy caught in the stun. Nice survival instincts by him preemptively on that stun, but unfortunately, um, yeah, I guess he will be able to survive. Oh. Nice down. Everyone's rotting down on his team. Pistol stun on a milk band. He has no way to get out of that aspect of the turtle is going to be forced out. The move has so much pressure at this point in the game. Yeah, Whiskey is just free casting in the middle of the map. And at this point, when they have so much momentum, what can Casca's Angels do? They need Casca to just float in and Spirit Link Totem really to stay alive at this point because that's all that could really do it. Even though Absurge was finally tapped on mana, as soon as they alleviated the pressure from Whiskey. We're low, and we can take a look at what actually ends up happening here that sets this entire situation up. So we can see Absturge is obviously caught in that bash right there, and he's going going to uh, be getting trapped up. You can see Dilly here min-maxing his damage during the bash, and he's going to try to get the trap out of that bash. And then in the meantime, you can see a nice preemptive uh, earthen totem right there around Whiskey. Absturge has been on point with those. And you can see here Milkman has a really good positioning here. He, he's allowed to basically stand here, do damage. He can jump down very easily and follow up with a fear if he chooses to do so. But there is a pirate on the other, opposite side of the team. So we can have a look at what Peekaboo ends up doing here. You're going to see Peekaboo realizes the situation. And then there it is. Beautiful silence from uh, Whiskey. And then Peekaboo is going to run up to Milkman and get that big, big between the eye stun right there. And then he's going to go ahead and do some damage to Cy Foxy. Dilly, of course, forced into that aspect of the turtle. And then Peekaboo is going to vanish, get that beautiful sap onto Milkman right there, reopen onto Dilly here. And I mean, if they have a cap totem or anything here onto Milkman, they can part probably take down Dilly here. So these setups that they're doing, it, and they're doing them time and time again with that uh, with that uh, uh, pistol stun into the silence or the silence into the pistol stun into the sap. These are setups that will force the trinket from the healer. And once that has been uh, forced, then you got that full blind win condition that we talk about. So. Uh, really really well executed game from the move and i mean even absters look at him on your screen right there casting out the lightning bolts and trying to support his team in any way he can and i, I mean the real win condition here for casca's angels has got to be the mana bar because that's the only the move move forward in this tournament with another 3-0 they seem to be just absolutely farming 3-0s at this rate or will casca's angels make a stand on toveron arena yeah i really want to see casca's angels get aggressive i think if they play sort of a defensive strategy that is not how you want to be playing into the Outlaw Rogue and the Shadow Priest. Both of them are kind of build-up uh, classes where the longer you give them uptime, the scarier they become. All right, Dilly got a flare on top of Milkman as Peekaboo is sneaking across the map and now stunning Cy Foxy as the most forward member, trying to buy time for Whiskey to breathe and get Vampiric touches. He got two casts of that out, getting knocked out of the Earthen Shield Totem. I think if Dilly can get these knockback traps a little bit more often on the Earthen Shield Totems as well, that could be a way for them to push Whiskey over the edge. This one, not really a high capacity one. As it looks like they might even swap to Milkman. They've got the stun. Let's see if they can deny the sap. They're going to use Wyvern Sting on Peekaboo. They deny a sap, but they get a Psychic Scream instead. Wyvern Sting is shortly going to be fading. Peekaboo trying to line up for a stun. There's a ton of damage following up towards Dilly now with a silence on the Milkman. Whoa! 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 Is that whoa! Right? whoa! I think it would have been. Plunder Armor came in whoa? at the last second to reduce his age. <laughs> the Shadow or Death, and that is it. And that's what happens if you sit back. Wiz K, he feels very comfortable to push in, land those fears, set up for his team, and uh, the move just going to destroy Casca's. Wow. <laughs> that was. Uh... A pretty nice swap. <laughs> Crazy, honestly. Full stun, full fear, and then Peekaboo didn't have the compass, so he had to use a couple of finishing moves to actually reset that stun cooldown. But then once he got it, he stunned Dilly up on about 40%, tricks of the trade, whiskey, <laughs> plunder. Then Dilly Poo standing there on his last wooden leg, trying to survive, <laughs> walking the plank. <laughs>
this game plus the other one ended up being like something like 41 seconds combined or something. <laughs> like, or eight, actually, sorry, 81 seconds. I love combined. the move because they're always playing these. Very I want this fast in slow motion. Games. I want. I actually need to see this. Like what all hit Dilly at the end? It must have been tricks of the trade. Maybe a shadow crash and just a huge pistol stun crit. Plunder. Plunder. So, well, plunder as well, but it had to be more than just that. I mean, it was literally 40 to death. So as we get closer to the kill, I'm just laser focused on what Witch K is casting, what Peekaboo is doing. Dilly's at 70%. He's chilling. He's having a good time. He's feeling good. Then he gets stunned at like 60. There's Void Form. Tricks. He's at 40. 50. He heals back up to 60. He gets stunned. Chunk down to 10, Trinkets done. It's Plunder Shadow Crash. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it was Plunder Shadow Crash. That is what it looks like there. What? 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 After this quick break, we've seen game fives, we've seen three O's, we've seen games almost quicker than it took for Ven Rookie to be taken out. What will we see when we jump into the arena after this quick break? We will figure out who our top teams are going to be for this second NA Cup.